Jamie, congratulations. Player of the Year Award, Bowler of the Year Award. It's, it's been a pretty good season, hasn't it? Yeah, personally, you know, very satisfying. Um, disappointing not to be able to get a trophy, but you know, I'm sure there's there's one waiting in the wings. Um, it's kind of the the key thing, I think, maybe, is we've, we've talked a lot about the injuries you've suffered and the frustration you've had to have such a good season last year and then to be able to, to come back and do it again this year must be really pleasing for you. Yeah, it is. It's just nice to kind of, you know, going into your, like, well, getting into your 30s and going, you know, passing 31. Um, yeah, it's nice to kind of remind yourself that you can still hold that standard. Um, so the challenge will be to keep it going now. How conscious are you of that? maybe getting that a little bit older and how you need to change how you take care of yourself to in order to keep playing yeah i mean the thing i've learned is that it just changes year to year now what i need to do to look after my body um especially the schedule seems to get worse and worse every year so it's just about adapting and um you know, as long as i'm enjoying it i'll keep finding a way to stay on the park and essex is well known for the, the bowling attack and the, the bowling unit and there's such strength amongst there so although you finish is, is leading wicket taker in Division 1 you've had so much good support from around the other bowlers at the club Yeah I think all the bowlers had great seasons you know um, to have all of your bowlers in the top 10 leading wicket takers in the country is um, is a, a serious achievement from a club standpoint and I think you know you look everyone in that uh, bowling unit played their part this season but you're setting your sights on more trophies with Essex. Yeah, that's my goal. That is my only goal moving forward is I want to win at least one more championship. Thank you very much. Cheers.